it's time to make our copycat swine brine recipe. I haven't even had it yet, so I'm, I'm really pumped. Yeah, Garrett never had it, but we've had it every year at the Food and Wine Festival in Epcot, so we're going to try to recreate it. And what we learned is that no one's done this before. I tried, uh, I Google searched all day today to see if I could get an exact recipe, and it doesn't exist. We're going to put a little mustard in there, because it says mustard, so we've got wet mustard, just a little bit, and I got dry mustard. How, much, dry mustard. how much do we need here? Just a little. It sounds gross, but it's good. It's really good. And then we're gonna do a little dry mustard. I, which I didn't know was a thing. It is I just found out right now. At the Food and Wine Fest, they use Evan Williams bourbon. Which, brewed right in Kentucky there. Yeah, but. Uh, this is too. This was more expensive, Maker's Mark, so I assume that means it's better. One way to know that a bourbon is good is if it's bottled in glass, except instead of plastic. Present. Evan Williams bottled in plastic, gross. Maker's Mark, glass. bottled in glass. Yeah, and it has these fancy drips. Yeah. So we love drips. Wax. Hashtag Party B. So we're gonna eyeball this. Gary, you say when. That, that's just not. Here, well, man, you know what? You know what? Let's just do that. There we go. That's easier. Put your mouth on it. Now, All right. Now we want to give it a mix. Because we want to we want to break up that mustard. I really the chunks of mustard chunks that are now in the chunks of mustard that are in the there. Uh, it doesn't smell good. <laughs> it smells like mustard and bourbon. Pretty much actually. mustard and bourbon right now. Which oh. Lemon juice time. Lemon juice. How much of that? We don't want to use a ton of lemon juice because it'll overpower it, but maybe yeah. just give it a little squirty squirt. Should we give it a dash of bitters just for like just for just just to make it a nice just, just so we take can it say we did it? What do you think? Peach? Orange? Yeah. I would say I say peach. Peach. Alright, we got peach. Just 100% honey crisp apples. 100%. 100. Organic honey crisp. Oh, Steph, what, um, uh -huh. I remember there was a garnish on it when you had it last. There was a piggy wing. Uh, I don't, I oh, couldn't, just came out I went to the store and they didn't have any pig wings. That's a so we're just gonna garnish with some fresh herbs. I didn't know pigs float. Yeah, I didn't know either. Only in Disney can pigs fly. Yeah. Are you rolling? Roll it. roll it. Okay, roll it. So it's simmered. We're ready to drink. Have our rocks glass. Uh, we went with. There's a lot of flavors here. We don't want to dilute them. No, of course not. We don't want to get water in it because honestly, I don't even like regular bourbon with water with, with ice in it. So. Yeah. What do you think? Three? Four? Three. I'm gonna need some reminder anyway. So, so uh, now it is Thanksgiving. It so is. we wanted to bring in some of those earthy, fragrant, herbaceous aromas. Come on here. Come smell this. Come get some of this. Come on. Uh, we got. We went with rosemary. Uh, we've got a little sage and some thyme. Oh, it's so great. Bad. Yeah. yeah <laughs> now, <laughs> we just get us like kicking the <laughs> Get a close up there. How do you? <laughs> <laughs> now it's not really not working. Hold on, this is, can I get quiet on the set? Okay. I think it's time to pour it. Yeah, let's taste I mean, that's it. That's what I've been it waiting for. It looks good. Right. The mustard has become one with yeah. the Bourbon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and we're mm -hmm. excited to taste it. Oh wow. Oh wow. Here we go. That's a lot. It is a lot. So you want me to chug it? We're gonna get ready. Like well, you, first you sip it. I'm supposed to and have then all this, right? Okay. First you sip it, then you chug it. It's like a barbecue. But honestly, the amount of alcohol I put in with the rosemary and the mustard I really, really like. So I mean, yeah, I'm gonna give this a nice, nice eight out of 10. We totally 
definitely winged this copycat recipe, as you can see here. It really likes it. Uh, we went with, I want to call it two parts apple cider, one part bourbon. Um, one and a half parts. Yeah. And a little splash of lemon juice and two types of mustard. There's two types of mustard. I think if we were gonna do it again, we would just do the dry mustard because the the brown mustard didn't really seem to dissolve. So we're getting like brown little mustard. flavor bursts of the brown mustard. Uh, but that's the only thing. And then garnish as you like it. It's like flavor blast flavor flavor blasted. Flavor uh, blasted uh, what's it called? Swine brine. Goldfish? Goldfish, yes. But we are no way affiliated with Goldfish or Preppage Farm. 